And I think this is really what makes concussion so challenging, is that there are so many different signs and symptoms that a concussion can encompass, and there's different domains of symptoms. So for example, some of the most common things that we might see would be headache, maybe dizziness, maybe some nausea immediately after the head injury, but we really look for the duration of the symptoms. And so if they're lasting really more than 24 hours after that initial injury, then we call it a concussion. But there can be a whole host of, of different signs and symptoms, ranging from difficulty sleeping, a mood change, difficulty concentrating in school. So a concussion can really encompass, or I should say a concussion can really be representative of a lot of different symptoms.